It was a hazy moonless night, a dirty stench hanging over the city like a beer fart that had been left too long in the sun. Or cheese maybe, the kind that had turned green and moldy and had started growing hair. It was the kind of night that made women weep and children shiver and full-grown men drink themselves into a stupor, the streets as barren as a nursing home grandma and every bit as gamey, nothing out and about but dead things and other things that were meant to remain in the dirt where they belong. And me, Nick Slick, Private Dick. But there was something else out too on this particular night in question, something that wasn't quite altogether dead and most certainly wasn't me but felt undeniably bad all the same, really bad. The kind of bad you felt when that green burrito you'd eaten out of the garbage for breakfast finally catches up to you and at the worst possible time imaginable, like in the middle of a boozy blind date that was already going inexcusably bad on its own. This bad feeling though didn't make me want to run for the can, but worse, this one made me want to run for the nearest exit like a scalded dog with a hungry rat crawling its way up its behind. Unfortunately there was no exit to be found seeing as I was outside, but at least there was no rodent in my butt, at least not yet at any rate. A small consolation alas, particularly when I saw the source of that aforementioned progenitor of bat. I only caught the tiniest little non-glimpse of it if that before it scuttled its way off and away and into the nearby shadows again. Moving drunkenly but somehow fast like a fat kid on a rusty bicycle be lining his way to the local chow pit, almost as if it had never really been there at all. It had though. As impossible as that was beginning to seem, I knew because I'd seen it with my own two peepers, even as I knew it wasn't quite altogether human, maybe not even close, even if I didn't quite want to admit it to myself at the time. But I'd seen it all right sure enough, and if I had any doubts they were promptly washed away like a puke stain in the rain when I saw what it had left behind. Oh, and one last thing. Are you a literary agent looking for the next big thing? Author artist designer Jameson Tucker is looking for you, seriously. Make contact today, because great writerly works don't sell themselves.